Welcome to day four of the International Novena to Blessed Michael McGivney. Each day, a different member of the clergy is providing a reflection on Father McGivney's life and example and leading us in intercessory prayer, sponsored by the Blessed Michael McGivney Pilgrimage Center and the McGivney Guild. Today, we are led in prayer by Father Jeffrey Romans, a priest of the Archdiocese of Hartford and the Connecticut State Chaplain for the Knights of Columbus. Also joining me is Brian Caulfield, Vice Postulator for Father McGivney's Cause for Canonization. Our theme for day four is for Catholic men and their families. In addition to the needs and petitions of all those joining us, we pray in a particular way for Catholic families and for the growth in the virtue of charity, unity, and fraternity. Father Romans, thank you so much for joining us. And would you begin leading us in prayer with a reflection? Thank you very much. Yes, indeed. The Knights of Columbus grew out of Father McGivney's personal experience. He knew firsthand the hardships families faced when the father of a family died young. He saw Catholic men lured by secret societies that promised brotherhood and financial benefits, but whose practices were contrary to the Catholic faith. Yet he also knew the strength and character, character of Catholic men who kept their faith and worked hard to support their families. A priest of deep prayer and practical action, Father McGivney called together the accomplished go-ahead Catholic men of New Haven for a meeting in the basement of St. Mary's Church. They were to form a new society that would support men in the faith and assist widows and orphans when a member passed away. Summing up the mission of the Knights of Columbus, he wrote, unity and charity is our motto. Unity in order to gain strength, to be charitable to each other in benevolence, whilst we live and in bestowing financial aid to those we have to mourn. The members of the order today carry out his vision and mission through a charity that evangelizes, a charity that answers the simple question that lies at the heart of each person. How am I to live and who am I to serve? Father McGivney answered these questions with his personal witness of practical sanctity and charity. And his knights continue to this day to follow in his footsteps through lives devoted to charity, unity, and fraternity. We come together today for, to pray the novena to the blessed Michael McGivney. Doing so, we are privileged to do something very rare, especially here in the United States and that is to celebrate one of our own becoming a blessed in the church. Blessed Michael McGivney is a priest of our own Archdiocese of Hartford. As I think of his life, I cannot help but think of how powerful his example is for me, and in fact, for all of us. Born just miles from where I minister today, growing up here in Connecticut, and after ordination to the priesthood of Jesus Christ, serving people and parishes in New Haven and Thomaston. He walked the streets we can walk today, he saw many of the structures we see today. He grew up and was formed into the man he was by the religious men and women and parish priests whom many of our ancestors would have known as well. He is indeed one of us. And what a privilege that he is now called blessed. Many of us have had a devotion to Father McGivney through our own personal involvement with the Knights of Columbus, the fraternal organization he founded. Many of us have read the book Parish Priest to learn more about him and his ministry to God's people. Many of us who are priests today hope and pray to serve God's people as well as Blessed Michael McGivney did while here on earth. At the Mass of Thanksgiving following his beatification, our Supreme Chaplain called Father McGivney the priest of the Beatitudes. He pointed out how Father McGivney gave up everything to serve the church. And as you learn about his life, you learn how he willingly gave up his time, his energy, and all that he was to serve the people of God. He was one who had the smell of the sheep, as Pope Francis would say today. He did everything and anything he could to serve God's people, oftentimes at great personal sacrifice. Parishioners, strangers, and prisoners knew his commitment, his zeal for souls, and his desire to give his whole life to the service of the church. The priests of the Beatitudes made the attitudes that Jesus described an essential part of his everyday life. In his priestly ministry, he strived to help his people know and experience the mercy, the compassion, and the love of Jesus Christ. He offered them the sacraments precisely to help them grow closer to the Lord. 
He never saw fame or acclamation of the world for doing what he did. He simply did what needed to be done. He did what he was supposed to do as a parish priest, and he did it for the glory of God and the salvation of those souls entrusted to his pastoral charity. I hope that each of you see in Father McGivney an example to follow. We priests certainly have a model in him, but I dare say each and every person, especially those of us privileged to live here in the founder state, have in him an example and model as we strive for holiness. And how much more for us who are Knights of Columbus. We have in him a great example as we strive to become better husbands, better fathers, and better disciples in these challenging times. Father McGivney knew firsthand the hardship his families faced then and continue to face today. Founding the Knights of Columbus, he sought to give men strength as they came together in unity and charity. Having lived the Beatitudes so thoroughly and consistently in his own life, Father McGivney has set a model for each of us on our path to holiness. We know by his example how to live lives devoted to charity, unity, and fraternity. Let us rejoice and be glad, for now counted among the holy ones is one of our own, a beloved parish priest from the Archdiocese of Hartford, founder of the Knights of Columbus, great intercessor for each of us here this very moment. Blessed Michael McGivney, pray for us. Thank you so much, Father. And now I'd like to proceed with the Novena devotion, please, for day four. We'll begin with the petitions. For the pursuit of holiness among members of the Knights of Columbus, that according to Father McGivney's vision, Catholic men may step forward to lead, serve, and sacrifice. Grant our prayer, Lord, through the intercession of Blessed Michael McGivney. For the continued growth of the Knights of Columbus, that many more men may commit to their faith and protect the financial future of their families through membership in the order. Grant our prayer, Lord, through the intercession of Blessed Michael McGivney. For many graces to come through the intercession of Father Michael McGivney, that by his example of virtue, we may be inspired to put our faith into action for the good of our families, parishes, and communities. Grant our prayer, Lord, through the intercession of Blessed Michael McGivney. For the personal petitions of those who pray this novena, and for a miracle from God that will lead to the canonization of Father McGivney, grant our prayer, Lord, through the intercession of Blessed Michael McGivney. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And Father, would you lead Prayer us in for the canonization? Prayer for the canonization of Blessed Michael McGivney. God, our Father, protector of the poor and defender of the widow and orphan, you called your priest, Blessed Michael McGivney, to be an apostle of Christian family life and lead the young to the generous service of their neighbor. Through the example of his life and virtue, may we follow your son, Jesus Christ, more closely fulfilling his commandment of charity and building up his body, which is the church. Let the inspiration of your servant prompt us to greater confidence in your love so that we may continue his work of caring for the needy and the outcasts. We humbly ask that you glorify your servant, a blessed Michael McGivney on earth according to the design of your holy will. Through his intercession, grant the favor I now present. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father, and I'll be happy to offer the responsories to the litany. 
the litany of blessed Michael McGivney, Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Our Lady of the, the Immaculate Conception, pray for us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, star of the new evangelization. Pray for us. St. Joseph, spouse of Mary and guardian of the Redeemer. Pray for us. St. Michael, the Archangel. Pray for us. Blessed Michael, forgive me. Pray for us. Humble servant of God. Pray for us. Faithful disciple of Jesus. Pray for us. Son of the Immaculate Heart. Pray for us. Obedient Son of the Church. Pray for us. Exemplary Priest of Purity. Pray for us. Zealous Priest of Christ. Pray for us. Gentle Shepherd of Souls. Pray for us. Devoted Parish Priest. Pray for us. Wise counselor, pray for us. Teacher of the faith, pray for us. Servant to all, pray for us. Protector of the poor, pray for us. Defender of the widow and orphan, pray for us. Friend of the lonely and suffering, pray for us. Companion to the imprisoned. Pray for us. Comforter of the sick and dying. Pray for us. Apostle of Christian family life. Pray for us. Father to the young. Pray for us. Advocate of workers. Pray for us. Evangelizer to those gone astray. Pray for us. Champion of the gospel of life. Pray for us. Guardian of the laity. Pray for us. Pastor of immigrants. Pray for us. Exemplar of charity. Pray for us. Model of unity. Pray for us. Builder of Catholic fraternity. Pray for us. Instructor of Christian patriotism. Pray for us. Founder of the Knights of Columbus. Pray for us. Blessed Michael, humble in service. Pray for us. Blessed Michael, devoted to the Sacred Heart. Pray for us. Blessed Michael, pure in heart. Pray for us. Blessed Michael, faithful in priestly duties. Pray for us. Blessed Michael, strong in suffering. Pray for us. Blessed Michael, peaceful in dying. Pray for us. Blessed Michael, conformed to Christ crucified. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Pray for us, blessed Michael McGivney. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. God, our Father, inspired by the heroic example of the life and virtue of your priest, blessed Michael, forgive me. May we follow your son, Jesus Christ, more closely, fulfilling his commandment of charity and building up his body, which is the church. Let the inspiration of your servant prompt us to greater confidence in your love so that we may continue his work of caring for the needy and outcasts. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father Jeffrey Romans, chaplain of the Connecticut State Knights of Columbus. As we depart, may we have your your blessing, please. My privilege. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit.
May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Father. That concludes our devotions for day four. I invite those of you who are following the novena to join us again tomorrow for day five. Thank you all, and God bless you.